Hello friends and welcome. Welcome to another episode of the mini series where I celebrate my one year of YouTube activity and I'm celebrating by showing you all my collection of fountain pens, vintage and new fountain pens. This time I have a selection of German fountain pens from the 1930s till present days. Okay, and I will start with two fountain pens, quite rare fountain pens that uh, were produced in the 1930s by a small German producer near the town of Cologne. They are both button fillers and we are talking about the German producer D.O.M. So dome. I have this uh, first one which is made out of celluloid and it has a steel nib and I have another one which is quite quite interesting. It is a metallic fountain pen, no imprints on the barrel with this interesting elements on the clip. Also a button filler we unscrew the cap and we can see a dome 94 nib. Guys, I'm not so sure that this dome nib is made out of steel. Maybe it is gold and it is not hallmarked here. Or another possibility that the gold plating was amazing and it didn't fade away all those years. So this is a nice, nice metallic fountain pen from the 1930s in quite, quite a good shape. Now I have for you guys a fountain pen which I unfortunately broke. I tried to reach the piston filling mechanism. It was equipped with a blind cap and this piston filling mechanism. And I think that it is also from the 1930s. It had uh, uh, this ink window and I still have the cap. One of the clues was imprinted on the beautiful gold nib. So I had a nice Stedler Luna Mars 14 karat gold nib it is quite a gold, nice gold nib at the back an ebonite feed but unfortunately i uh, broke the section here and it is beyond repair i tried to reach the piston filling so it is was like this i will uh, leave this aside and i have another product from stedler this time in this beautiful gorgeous celluloid you can see that in time it was affected by the humidity of the hands and it's changed color from this color it has now a nice violet pattern here we have gs stedler and the logo of the luna this is a uh, turning knob of the piston filler it has the ink window here and it has this wonderful wonderful mars 14 carat made in germany gold nib now guys we are moving on in the 1930s by this model the model is uh, named Matador Express. It is done in this beautiful, beautiful celluloid. It is equipped with a gold nib, but I'm not so sure that this is the original gold nib for this fountain pen. It seems quite small, but I bought it uh, as uh, it is. Now, guys, I have a treat for you. I have a pen it's in uh, its original box, equipped with a 14 karat gold uh, nib. It has all the warranty and uh, the instruction of use on it. Let me show you. 
so you can see the instruction of use and the warranty and here is the fountain pen we are talking about a luxor you know that i love the shape this classic shape of the 1950s and this is a 1950s german product a beautiful luxor fountain pen with its original nib let me show you the beautiful, beautiful Luxor nib. Luxor Force quality. Next, I have only the box of, um, of a fountain pen. And it is the box of a Galant fountain pen. But inside of it, it has a novelty item. So it has a fountain pen, or uh, let's call it a fountain pen in a classic shape of the uh, torpedo or a cigar but it is not a fountain pen it is a brush and this brush was used for cleaning the lenses of the um, photo cameras and one of the clues that i know is for a photo camera is this logo here so this is the logo of an old German of an old German optical manufacturer. Okay, let me put this here. Speaking about this classic shape, we will move on to a model destined for the export market. I have here a beautiful, beautiful. Lamar made in Germany. The piston filler with this blind cap. The ink window. It is in a beautiful, beautiful celluloid or plastic, a brown plastic. And it has this uh, simple nib, a steel nib, gold plated but quite quite a nice nice nib so guys this was the lamar now we move on to 1956 when uh, germany was uh, splitted in four parts this is a product of the east germany a makeba 340 from 1956 maybe the last year when uh, this producer makeba had uh, autonomy let's say it autonomy because after 1956 all the east german fountain pen producers were um, united as a single brand that uh, in time was known as mark hunt so a product from 1956 again we have the blind cap with the piston filling mechanism i love the fact that uh, this has three layers at the end of the piston to make sure that no ink goes past it and again keep equipped with a steel nib or uh, east german steel nib with that logo of the bear on two legs let's put also this side and now guys we move on to the 1970s i have this popular material that was used in the 1970s on almost all the german fountain pen manufacturers this time i have a well-known german manufacturer image 3000 it, quite, it is quite a simple fountain pen but a fountain pen equipped with a 14 karat gold nib quite quite a nice looking model now we move on to a favorite brand of mine and I will show you the reform and uh, this particular reform is the P125 model from the 1980s in uh, this burgundy color. It's not in uh, its greatest form but it was a gift from my grandmother when I started uh, school so I cherish this fountain pen quite quite a lot. It has a integrated piston filling mechanism, a multifaceted ink window, and it is quite quite a nice, nice, nice smooth writer. From the same producer, 
I have uh, two fountain pens in this shiny, shiny plastic, the Reform Calligraph with 2.3 nib and 1.5 nib. And I will show it to you. There are also piston fillers with multifaceted windows, but those are the two fountain pens. Interesting with two breathing holes. Okay, guys, let's move on. And we will move on to the 1990s with uh, a firm that is uh, quite known. And I present to you a nice looking Diplomat fountain pen. So you can see Diplomat, the old logo of Diplomat, Germany. And this is a metallic fountain pen. It has this interesting, interesting clip. Quite, quite a nice, nice clip. It reminds me of the Cartier Must. And you can see here the beautiful, beautiful M nib. Unfortunately, those part gold plated metallic parts were affected by the acidity of the ink in time. This is not a great design for a fountain pen, but it is what it is. And uh, now we will move on to the last fountain pen that I want you to see. This is a Herlitz fountain pen by Pelican. This Herlitz was uh, bought by the Pelican Corporation and now it is a sub brand of Pelican, a brand intended for school use or for students, quite an affordable brand. And this model is uh, the Herlitz Tornado Classic. It's named the classic because it came in this uh, interesting combination between this steel cap and uh, this transparent plastic. It almost reminds us of the 1970s. This is um, equipped with a quite nice steel nib. It writes quite smooth and uh, it has this uh, part, this gripping part, which is made from... Um, a uh, special material that gives uh, the, a very well, uh, good grip to it. It is a cartridge filler, but it also can be fitted with an ink converter. I didn't test this if it can hold an ink converter, but I think it can. And it uses international uh, type cartridges, ink cartridges. On the bell, on the cap, we see Germany, so it is definitely a German made product and uh, quite, quite a nice, nice looker and a slim and light fountain pen. So, guys, this was my review of the other fountain pens, German fountain pens in my collection. They were, um, I tried to order them chronologically, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, small presentation of my collection if you did please subscribe to my channel to support my activity i want to wish you to have a nice day wherever you are and we will see you again at the next episode till then bye bye